Uh, Mr. Desiderio? Hi. Are you a client? Do uh, you have a case? Uh, yes, Mr. Desiderio, correct? How do you know my last name? Who do you work for? N nobody, Mr. Desiderio. I'm a friend of your assistant, Ricky. Oh, no. I can tell by your clothes. You work for organized crime. You've come here. You kidnapped her to use her as a bargaining chip, so I'll stop investigating crime. No, no, that's not it at all. Joe, I need your help. So Ricky hasn't been abducted by mafias? No. Darn. <laughs> Look, there's this woman. I need you to find her and stop her. If we don't, Something terrible is going to happen to the city. It's all over the internet and the news. I, I figured you... Are you even listening to me? Huh? You're still here? Okay, you know you're supposed to match the colors, right? That's what they mean by solving a Rubik's Cube. I know that. What do you think I am, stupid? I had all the sides the right color yesterday. I come into my office and they're all mixed up. So I'm examining it for clues to see who mixed it up. Anyway... Mr. Spandex? I don't have time for your case. You're not enough of a gorgeous dame for a private eye gumshoe such as myself to help crime solve. Nachos. Excuse me? I know who stole your nachos. I told Ricky not to discuss the details of this case. Mr. Desiderio, I know the identity of the one who stole your nachos. Go on. If you want this information, I suggest you reconsider our partnership. You drive a hard bargain, but how can I trust a man whose name I don't know and who wears outside underpants? <laughs> what other weeds have you got? No, you have no choice but to accept my help. Fine! But what do I have to do? It just so happens we're after the same perp. I don't know what you mean by perp. Perpetrator. Purple traitor. <laughs> Someone who trades purple. Criminal. It means the same thing as criminal. Oh! Okay! So, the guy who stole my nachos is the same guy who is the guy you're trying to catch. Right, exactly. Same guy. Exactly, yes. Okay! What information can you give me? All right, get on your computer. Okay. That's not a computer. Yes, it is. It's a typewriter. Nature's computer. <laughs> this is so incorrect on so many levels. Look, you can't get on the internet with that. You ever tried to do it? No, because it's impossible. Eh, uh, just tell me what to type. <laughs> d d okay, don't worry, I'll look it up. Tell me! What to type. Okay, sure. Go to YouTube and search the Queen of Light. Oh my god. She's gonna burn the city to the ground! What? <laughs> Is this the woman who has my nachos? Oh, how? She looks so, so heinous. I, I can't even. What could make Dane so untamed? What could make a pride be so bad? Set the town aflame, she exclaimed. What made this mad town a madman? It's a pride and takes duty to sate every day that he meets. It's a pride and takes duty. Dames off the streets, safe in bed beneath the sheets. Everything that I know comes from movies and TV shows. And since there's only truth in TV, that must be the private dick's duty. It had to be some jerk. Heart acting smart. Well, this dirty schmuck's out of luck when Joe sees his. Mother
fuck? He's gonna smart. It's a private dick's duty to sate everything that he meets. It's a private dick's duty to keep beta tanks off the streets. Sate the bed beneath the sheets. Everything that I know comes from movies and TV shows. And since it's only true thing TV, that must be the private dick's duty. How do you know that someone made her irate? Couldn't it be that her madness was innate? The look in her eyes told me where the truth lies. How could you even see her eyes? The way that she spoke told me that she was provoked. It's a private dick's duty to comfort Dave when they're feeling blue. It's a private dick's duty to answer Dave's that come for me. Fill their hearts with empty. Everything that I know comes from movies and TV shows. And since it's only truth in TV, that must be the private dick's duty. Hold on, just to be sure, we're gonna try and find her and stop her from destroying the town, right? That, that's all, right? Right! We're gonna save the city. Okay, just making sure. All right, here. I, I wrote down her address. Should probably start looking there. Perfect! Once I find her, I'll find out who made her so upset, and I'll punch him! Oh, hold on! Maybe I'll get a chance to use this! Oh my god! <laughs> is, is that really necessary? Of course it is! Listen, we, there now we have no time to lose! Gah! Oh, uh, maybe I'll just stay here and stand guard. No way. I can't investigate without my partner. Come on! Come on! Gah! Look, nobody's home, Joe. We better look somewhere else. Joe, wh what do you do? You can't do that. This is illegal. What if they're still asleep in there? Oh, no. Oh, man. Busted into the per department. First time doing it. So cool. <laughs> Have to do it again sometime. The rookie started to get cold feet, but he should have known that sometimes a good private eye doesn't play by the rules. We are so going to jail. Two questions. First, who are you talking to? And second, do you realize that I'm right here? <laughs> no time to get sarcastic with me. You gotta get on your toes or else the criminals will perform a crime on you! Sarcastic. That's what I said. Smartcastic. <laughs> now get on your toes! All right, let's try to find some lights. Good thinking, rookie. Let's look for some clues. Now, Ricky, tell me. You've been here before, so tell me. Tell you what? Which one of these things is a clue? God, you are really bad at your job. Excuse me? Uh, nothing. Oh, no. That was an excuse me, I can't hear you. That was more of an excuse me, but I believe you're being kind of rude. I'm sorry. Rookie, let me ask you something. Uh, ask away, I guess. What is your job? I'm, uh, unemployed. Um, what was your job? Um, I've been out of work for a while now. If you could have any job in the world, what would it be? Do we really have to do this right now? Um, oh, I think I know where some clues are. Clues? Where? I bet they're here in the laboratory. It's oh, just boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Prepare your men to assume Formation Delta for takedown. Roger, we are moving. All right, men, we are agreeing to go. <laughs> Let's get into position. Officer Dunn, roll call. You 
I came and knocked on the door. He let me in, tried to get some answers, but he tried to- Wait, me. officer! What? He's lying to you. He broke in here with me. If you look at the door, you'll see that it's been broken into. Look, we're trying to stop the Queen of what? Officer? Ah, oh, save it for court, punk. You're dressed up in the terrorist's uniform. You might as well have a sign around your neck that says, please arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> We've combed the area for evidence. We're done here. Well done, Ben. And lady cops, let's get out of here. You sold me out, Joe. You. That was a close call. Never in a million years did I think I have to sell out my partner to a couple of jobbers to get myself out of a jam. That's the rules of the streets. You can't solve a mystery without making up some of your own. The cops did a bad job looking for clues. I knew this place was full of clues. I could smell them. I'm like a dog, except I don't eat my food out of a bowl in the ground. When I was back in the suspect's bedroom, I noticed she was hoarding a lot of expired food. Any private eye could tell you, that's weird. Translating the cop talk is suspicious. I decided to stick around and do, do some clue searching. Brought my magnifying glass for the extra small clues. Kind you can't see with the naked private eye. <laughs> I found a person in this box. Very suspicious. What are you doing in my home? She was startled. I told her to calm down. Calm down! I heard you. What are you doing in my home? I'm looking for the person who stole my nachos. Oh, crap. You're the guy from the mall the other day. She was right. I was that guy. <laughs> she knew something. You're right. I do know something. It was my sister who stole your nachos. I told her we could buy some of her own, but she said the legal transactions weren't nefarious. I knew the identity of the thief, and suddenly the mystery seemed less mysterious. Plus, my nachos were ruined. What? Oh, I'm bored of this case. Case closed! What? Oh, case closed is what a private eye gumshoe such as myself says when he doesn't feel like solving a crime anymore. Wait, you're not going to find my sister? No! But I have no idea where she is. She disappeared a few hours ago and I've been looking all over for her. Wait, are you asking me to solve a case? Yes, you have to help me. Holy crap! A real life dame just asked me to solve a case. My mind was racing. I felt really nervous. Also excited and important. All I could blurt out was, Hooray! I'll help! Okay, do you have any leads? Did you watch her video? Yes, but she didn't say where to find her. No, I can't do this without my partner. You mean that jerk was your partner? No, that's just some jerk. <laughs> Ricky's my partner. Ricky is super good at investigating. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's go find him. Her. Her? Ricky's a girl's name. R-I-K-K-I. Look. Whatever. Let's just go find her. Okay. Famous movie star turns out to be a jerk. Millions of imperialist Americans shocked by Dang Lee. I cannot tell if he's being satirical or not. This kid is good. Twenty missed calls from Seth. I wish someone else would call me. Maybe that way I could feel like I had some friends at the time of my death. If you aren't Seth, come in. Who's Seth? Is your name Seth? I think she's referring to that jerk. From before? Oh, okay. Joe? Joe Desiderio. Private Egg Don't You? At your service. And who is this, Joe? Is this your girlfriend, you sly dog? <laughs> Just call me number one. You know the lady from the video? This is her sister. Oh, so, Joe, did you come here because you didn't feel like being immolated all by yourself? Actually, I have a case for you. We're on, we're on the hunt for the girl who's gonna burn this downtown, downtown, downtown. Watch in time. Listen, you guys, you need to understand something about my sister. I really don't think she intends to burn anything down. Really? She sure said she did. No. I'm pretty sure she's just doing it for the attention. Well, that's a relief. But uh, why do you need my help with the investigation? I can't investigate without my partner. It's just not done. 
Thank you, Joe. That's very flattering. But I don't even have the faintest idea of where to start looking, besides her apartment. Yeah, we looked there first. Probably Seth. Oh no. Who is this? Oh, thank God. Hello. This is Ricky. Who am I speaking to? Oh, thank God. Ricky, listen. I'm really sorry about before, but you gotta... Seth, that's enough. I can't believe you're trying to call me on someone else's number. There's a reason I'm screening your call, Seth. Goodbye. Wow. This Seth guy sure is a hit with everyone he meets. What did he do to make you so mad? He called me Dick. Me too! Why is that bad? <laughs> you don't understand. He meant it in a mean way. My real name is Richard. You can shorten that to Dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're not talking to him because he called you a name. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree that he's a jerk, but that seems a little harsh. No, you don't understand. Let me tell you a story about a stern and stuffy old man whose crabby disposition wasn't the only thing passed through his clan. To hell with this mess, he said. I will get what I have sought. So his sixth daughter was named Richard Brogan Wood. And oh, what havoc on her poor life it wrought. Called me Richard, I was always ridiculed. So I made them call me Ricky. It was too late, the damage had been done. And no, oh, I remember how they used to make fun. Ricky, Ricky is what they used to say. How can we make that stinky girl go?
Wow, that is pretty messed up when you put it into context like that. Wait, so Seth called you all this in spite of knowing all the crap from your past? Yeah, exactly. What a jerk. <sighs> Although I was a little hard on him, even though he did thoroughly doom us. Hey, yeah, why aren't you running away? Well, if this apartment gets destroyed, I'll have to move back in with my parents. So? <sighs> I'd sooner consign myself to death by immolation than subject myself to that fate. Death by emodium would be pretty bad. <laughs> nope, uh, immolation, Joe, means burn to death. I thought I was supposed to stop the burn. No, uh, that's the medicine. Uh, look, never mind. Uh, if we're going to stop her, we have to find her. But how are we going to do that? We have no leads. And everyone knows you need leads in order to be led to the criminal wrongdoer. So, uh, we can't find her, but what if she comes and finds us? Ooh, you switch it around, just like in the movies. Yeah, but how are we going to do that? We use bait. We bait her. Nachos. No. <laughs> we need something bigger, something she wants more than anything. I've got it. She needs a hero who can challenge her. Oh, oh me! Pick me! Oh, oh uh, Joe. That's not the best idea, maybe. What? Why not? Um... You're already the detective! You can't be the superhero and the detective! But the Watchman is a superhero and a detective! The Watchman even wears a trench coat! The who? No, that's a band. I'm talking about a superhero. Who's a superhero? No, who is more of a time... All right! Than... Let's stop this before we... Good into a weird pop culture version of an Abbott and Costello routine. <laughs> Listen, Joe, she's more of a traditional supervillain anyways. She needs someone classically heroic. Someone with muscles. And someone who looks good in tights. Not an obscure detective hero. Watchmen is not obscure. <laughs> hey, what about that muscles guy from the TV commercials? <laughs> That's right. He could be perfect for this. Plus, it'd be good publicity if he saved the town. Are you joking with me? You want to get Tommy Muscles? This is... This is... This is a bunch of bull feathers! Oh, God, Joe, we have to think about the safety of the town. Next to you. You can solve this mystery of time by yourselves. Dad, I know you think he's such a hunk. But he never said he was a hunk. Oh, psh, whatever. I know how much you guys want to marry him, and you think he's so cool and hot. All right, Joe, you are basically acting like a full-on child oh, right you're now. you're acting like a full-on child. I'm going to go with Silver Proving's cute mystery. Oh, my God. Whatever. My thoughts exactly. Shall we go find Mr. Muscles? Uh, yes, let's get this show on the road. Well, looks like you called the wrong person there. Hey, buddy. Can't I have another phone call? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Damn the brakes. One phone call per day. She didn't even talk to me. I can't post bail if I don't have any money. <laughs> Look, buddy. Hey, d would you quit calling me, buddy? Okay, hey, pal. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Well, looks like the lieutenant's here, friend. That time already? Yep. Interrogation. Well, I'll leave you to it. So, tell us everything you know. I don't know anything. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. You sure you don't know anything? Yeah, I'm sure. Go on, make it easy on yourself, cause withholding information could be hazard to your health. Don't think that you'll prevail, I'll send you straight to jail, and do you know what they'll do to prison wimps like you? But first I'll bust your jaw, it's not against the law, throw a mean right hook straight from myself. But that's right, I'll dump your skull, that's right, I'll break your fingers, but the next day's pain is no, but it's a kind that lingers. Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Just running a standard interrogation. Not like that, not on my watch. I 
Secondly, I've seen this routine in every movie ever. Good cop, bad cop. Oh, you poor naive kid. Do you really think that's what we do around here? No. License to kill? We like to do a thing called bad cop, worst cop. Your head, I'll let you taste it, taste the molten lead. Just a couple papers that I have to fill out. No fanfare, very formal. some sour milk for her and then she made me leave. That's it. That's all. I'm so sick of all your lies. You're the type I most despise. I'm gonna knock at your teeth and poke out your eyes. FYI, you're so well. Make your life a living hell and when your case goes to trial, pedophilia as well. Locked away for life. Every day is filled with strife and I hope a guy named Butch makes you his wife. First I'm gonna break you, then I'm gonna make you confess to all your crimes and I'm gonna take you down. to commit treason is basically the worst thing you could do. Oh God, what do I do now? <laughs> All right, where is this punk? Where is this candy-coated Fruit Loop villain? I've got to say, I have some reservations about this. Why is that? I don't know. Something about hiring a meathead to beat at my sister seems a little uncouth. I can, as a fellow sister, however, I can assure you that sometimes the best way to teach your sister a lesson is tough love. Anyways, all he has to do is subdue her. It shouldn't be that hard. I don't know. She's pretty fierce. What are we talking about? Game plan? Strategy? Uh, no. Not really. Okay. 
Let me get your opinion. Should I hit him with one of these first? <laughs> or maybe one of these? <laughs> and then I'll get into my patented muscle lock. Yeah, sure, Tommy, that's great. Uh, anyways, um, even if it gets hairy, we can always jump in. Surely she can't take out three versus one. Hey, what's wrong? I just don't like talking about fighting my sister. I've been spending most of my life trying to keep her out of fights. Hey, hey guys! Guys, look! Flying muscle kick! <laughs> that's great, Tommy. I know it's hard, but we're trying to keep her out of prison. Remember, we have to do this. Okay.
really fun. Rivals anymore. Oh, well. Nobody is going anywhere. The only place you'll be skipping is go. Because you'll be going directly to jail. <laughs> but seriously, basically everyone here is under arrest. Empty your pockets. I want to see those hands up. Oh my god! Joe, you had a gun? Of course I have a gun. I'm a private eye. <laughs> You're pointing it at a federal agent! Yeah, what gives? I thought you were supposed to be on our side. Mr. I am! Private Eye. Yeah, I am! But I'm also against the crime solvers who are undercover jerks! Oh. Ah. Listen, idiot! You shut your mouth before I have you on a ship to shit island with a bag over your head! Don't you realize that I have a license to kill? Wait, a license to kill? That's something spies have, not FBI agents. Well, license or not, a cop can shoot someone if he feels threatened. So put down the gun. You can't shoot the both of us. Seth! Ricky! Chuck! <laughs> Everyone put your guns down. How did Let's you escape? You left the door open. <laughs> now put your guns down before I blow us all sky high. Uh-huh, fat chance. Don't you know that I have a license to kill? Wait, Seth, she's lying. She doesn't have a license to kill. Well, either way, a cop can use deadly force. Additionally, to... Joe's got a gun on both of them, so they can't really shoot either of you without risking their own lives. Oh, I cannot believe this. How could you just leave the door open? I thought you did it. You're the one who insists on taking my keys, being the hotshot FBI agent, acting like you're my precinct the whole time you were here. I'm a federal agent. I rank you. Uh, yes, yeah, since what, like four days ago? You're still a rookie, rookie. Oh, shut your mouth! The FBI put me on this case. Ha! Huh, look around you! You're fighting fake supervillains and private eyes. It <laughs> looks to me like the FBI is hazy. Hey, shut up. I said put down your guns, or I'll blow this place to kingdom come. One, two, good, perfect. Seth, you did it! Much to our surprise, you managed to save the day! Shut up, I'm still blowing us all to hell. What? what? Hey! I don't think you all appreciate the kind of day I've had. Forced to do push-ups by some meathead until I pass out, then stuffed in a locker. Then I have to drink sour milk for this idiot. 
with my head in a jar full of bees. Then I get home and you blame everything on me. After that, I try to fix things when you sell me out to the cops, who there afterwards tell me I'm going to get sodomized in some government facility in prison campus stand. Well, guess what, suckers? I just realized why everything went so wrong.
pretty good idea of what's going on here. So I'd always get it in tussles Had my past and changed in muscles You're still here! I've been here the whole time Emotional <laughs> pains from problems in our brains But it's not like we're the only ones Cause you and you and you Probably got brain problems too Seth, do you have anything you'd like to share? Yeah, fine, I guess. No breakups, I wish I'd stay asleep. Cause I know what today holds and it makes me want to weep. So yeah, I guess I got brain problems too. Emotional pains from problems in our brains. But it's not like we're the only ones. Cause you and you and you. God, we've made like zero progress. Yeah, seriously, Joe, just put that down. You... Okay, well then, if you show Joe, if you shoot Joe, then I'm gonna push this button. Well, well, then I will. I'll shoot you first. Nope, you're what, and I like to call a stalemate. <laughs> oh. oh, God, I hate you. I hate you because you shot me. We gotta get out of here, come on! Seth, are you okay? No! <laughs> How's my poor boy? How's he feeling? I'm fine, Mom. Oh, and what about your boo-boo? That mean FBI lady has a sh to be ashamed of herself hurting a sweet and innocent boy like you. Uh-huh. Well, I made your favorite tea to make you all better. Thanks, Mom, but I, I really better... Shh, 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 shh. Don't worry, Punky Pie. Mommy's gonna make you all better. Now just <laughs> eat your chicky soup and get all comfy cozy in bed. Okay. Thanks, Mom. If you need anything else, you just let me know, okay? Man, I hate it here. Counterterrorist program fails to apprehend supervillain by Dang Lee. Last Thursday, a small city in America was under threat of total annihilation from a cyber terrorist known as the Queen of Blight. Her supervillain appearance signaled to the FBI that she was, quote, completely not a joke, and quote, worth our imperial blood money to investigate. <laughs> this kid is good. Fortunately for the capitalist pigs, there were no injuries except for Seth Giles, who was shot by mistake by a deranged superhero. Some witnesses claim that he was shot by the FBI, but everyone agrees that the whole event was really stupid. Seth? What? Your little friend Ricky is here to see you. Oh, wow. Really? Thanks. Hey, how have you been? Hey, Seth, how you feeling? Pretty sore. Yeah, I bet. But hey, you know what? What? Now that you've been shot by a cop, your rap career is really gonna take off. Oh wow, you really think? Yep, I know so. What have you been up to? How's living with your dad again? Do you even need to ask? No, but I figured I would anyway to bug you. Oh gee, thanks. Well then I guess I won't share the good news with you. There's good news? Yeah, but none for you. Typical. I got a letter in the mail. Yay, the postal system still works. <laughs> I already opened it and read it, but here, I think you should read it, too. Well, who's it from? Just read it. Okay. Dear Ricky and Seth, thanks for all the two, have d all the two of you have done. 
Because of the distraction of Seth getting shot, we were able to escape out of there. And thanks to the apparently vast fortune that a certain private detective had, we were able to pretty handily assume new identities and avoid the authorities. But more importantly, I have to thank you two for bringing together two soulmates. I've never seen Blythe this happy, and Joe's actually one of the nicest people I've ever met. He says he's really sorry for turning us over to the police. <laughs> Seth, I hope we meet again someday. I don't think we will, because we are in different town under assumed names, but maybe we'll get lucky and cross paths again. Sincerely, number one. Oh, P.S. Joe felt really bad about never paying you, so enclosed is what he described as a fat wad of dough, but not like bread dough. Money, as in cold, hard cash. <laughs> You'll never guess how much they gave us. Enough to move out of our parents' houses? Oh, easily. Well. So should we start looking for a place? Yep, and I know the perfect place to start looking. What a great innovation catering to our interest. Whether material wealth or jobs or romantic interest. You look first, I must insist. What wonders exist? 